I am back again. Just one more video tonight. Um, this is my March empties video. It's a couple days late, but like I said, I've had a really crazy week, so I'm trying to record this really fast before I go to family dinner. All right, so the first thing that I used up in March was this amazingly interesting bottle of Walgreens sterile saline solution. Um, you got to use it if you have contacts, so I know you're super excited to see that very interesting product. I used up a Pure Silk Rich and Luxurious Shave Cream in Cherry Blossom. I had this shave cream in my shower for like a good four months. It had a lot of product in there, and it lasted a long time. A little goes a long way. Um, so I used that up. I really liked it. It's not a shave gel, which I prefer. Um, it's more of, you know, the big white foam shaving cream instead of a gel. Um, I'd rather have a gel, but it works great and it lasted forever. So I think you definitely get um, your money's worth when you buy this. It was only like $1.98 at Walmart, I think. Um, so yeah, it lasted forever. All right, this next product was actually something I got from my Beauty Army kit when I was subscribed to Beauty Army. Um, this is the infamous dry shampoo that exploded all over the box and then they sent me another one. This is the other one that they sent me. Um, this is just a dry shampoo by New York Streets. And um, I really can't say anything amazing about this. It worked like any other dry shampoo. Um, it worked fine, but it didn't make my hair smell amazing. Um, and I think it made it look a little bit chalky. You know how sometimes dry shampoo can uh, make your hair look a little chalky because it's white. Um, I think it definitely took the luster out of my hair, but it made it a little fresher, you know, less greasy looking the second day. Um, so it was okay. I got it in a subscription box. I'm, I'm not going to purchase this. Um, I have other dry shampoos anyway. Um, it was decent, but it wasn't the most amazing thing I've ever used. Okay, I used up another face wash. This is the Oxy Acne Medication Maximum Action. Um, this is what I use for my face wash. I use it twice a day. I have the Ulta um, face brush. This is kind of like a Clarisonic spinoff, um, and it works phenomenally. So if you're wanting a Clarisonic but don't want to spend the money, I love my Ulta brush. Um, and I use this with it. Um, it works really good. I think it makes your skin um, break out less, but it doesn't dry you out. I think it's improved my skin. It looks decent. Um, and this is only like $4 at Walmart. And the reason why I like it is because it is 10% um, benzoyl peroxide instead of like the 2% that you normally see, so it's really strong. Um, so just pay attention to the amount of the active ingredient when you're trying to get an acne product. Um, this is 10%, so it has a, a lot in it, way more than other kind of over-the-counters do. Um, so that's why I really, really like this stuff. All right, so next up I used uh, a lotion. This is the Utterly Smooth Utter Cream. I got this from Allie. Hello, um, thank you so much. I actually really love this stuff. I'm not a fan of really, really smelly lotions sometimes. Um, sometimes the smell is just a little overbearing, if that makes sense. And I really, really love this stuff. I burn through it. It's totally empty. Um, I really like this stuff because it has a very, very light scent that isn't just, you know, choking you with its smell. Um, and I also think it worked really great. So I just use that as a hand lotion. And I definitely am going to be buying some more of this as soon as I can find some. So I absolutely love this stuff. Thank you, Allie. I used it all up. All right, next up, I used a deodorant. I know you're happy that I, you know, keep my pits from stinking. This is the Oxygen. It says New Oxygen Odor Control Technology. This is Women, um, Mitchum Woman Advanced. And this is supposed to have 48-hour protection. This was the Shower Fresh. Um, this was like a gel deodorant. Um, I'm not going to say anything amazing about it. It didn't work bad. It didn't work good. It was just kind of forgettable, I guess. Next is a product I am throwing away. I got this at a dollar store for $2. Um, this is by Silk. It is a refreshing apricot scrub. Um, I got this because I happened to be at the dollar store and I was out of my St. Ives apricot scrub. This was right next to it. It looked like it was the same thing. It absolutely is not. It is horrible. It broke me out. It really um, doesn't have enough grit in it to actually even exfoliate your face. 
So I used it like twice, it started breaking me out. Um, I tried to pawn it off on my boyfriend and he said he would use it, but then it sat in our shower for like another four months. So apparently he didn't like it either. And I'm throwing it away. It's still pretty much full, but it was absolutely horrible. That is what I get for trying to skimp and save money and not buy the St. Ives one, which is the one that I love. Um, I have learned my lesson. I will not make this mistake again. All right, we have another deodorant. So apparently I was sweating it up in March. Um, this is the Dry Idea Advanced Dry No Residue Formula Powder Fresh. I got this super cheap with a coupon. It lasted a long time and I actually really liked this stuff. Um, I thought it worked very well and it smelled nice. Um, it didn't leave any white residue. It is a clear gel. I don't know if you can see this. The lid was stuck. Um, it's a clear gel and it doesn't leave any residue. So I actually really like this stuff. And I have a couple more sticks of it. Um, so I'll definitely be using them. I, I like this probably more than this one. I'm not sure why. Maybe I'm weird, but I preferred this over this one. Okay, next up is a makeup from The Crypt. Um, this is the Maybelline Super Stay Concealer 24 Hour in Ivory. This thing is like four years old, two years old, three years old, I don't know. It's super, super old. I had it in my old makeup case that has kind of, it's like the makeup case graveyard. Do you know what I'm talking about? When you have these products and then you get something better and so you just kind of put them in the makeup case and go back to them every once in a blue moon, but not that often. Anyway, I wanted a liquid concealer. I couldn't find one um, in my current makeup holder. Um, so I knew I still had this. So I actually um, dug it out and I actually started using it. And I was like, why did I put this in there? This stuff is awesome. Um, so it's supposed to stay for 24 hours. It's hard to see there because I've kind of used it all up. Um, it's supposed to stay for 24 hours. It doesn't stay for 24 hours, but it, it has a pretty good lasting power for just a liquid concealer. Um, I'm definitely going to be buying some more of this. I had another liquid concealer in the graveyard that I'm using right now. Um, but when that runs out, I'll buy some more. I, I kind of like liquid concealer in the summer when I get a little more um, oily or greasier or sweaty because it's just a little more lightweight than your cakey concealer. So I kind of made the switch to the liquid concealer for the summer. Um, so I used up this one. So that is out of the graveyard and totally, totally used up. And I'm finishing up another one from the graveyard and then I will buy more. All right, next up is actually a brush head from my Ulta Facial Cleansing Brush. You can see this one is kind of smashed. Um, it's I used this for about a month. Um, and now I'm throwing it away and I put a fresh one on there. Um, so that's going in the trash. The refills are like two for eight dollars, so they're pretty affordable. Um, and it just spins and it's, it's nice. Next thing I'm throwing away is a contact thing. Because I'm blind. Um, Acuvue Oasis for astigmatism. I am super, I'm legally blind in my right eye, but I wear these. So the Oasis work. So not only am I legally blind in my right eye, I have astigmatism as well. Um, so these are the contacts I use. And actually, I'm almost out of contacts. I'm going to have to go back to the eye doctor, which is just a shame. The reason I say it like that is because my eye doctor is very, very handsome. He's good for the eyes. <laughs> All right. Um, the next thing I'm getting rid of is a brush. It's pretty obvious why I'm getting rid of the brush. Um, funny story, I have mentioned several times that my hair is the tangliest hair in the entire world. Um, one night, it was a Friday, it had obviously been a long week, and my hair was so tangled at the back of my head, I was brushing it with this, and it got stuck in a tangle, and I tried to pull it through the tangle, and it literally snapped in half. So if you think you have tangly hair, um, have you ever literally snapped a brush in half? Because this was a first for me. Um, yeah, it was horrible. Um, so I went and bought a new brush, and hopefully it won't snap apart. All right, the next to the last item here is something that I got from an Ipsy bag. This is from Healthy Sexy Hair. Um, this is the Soy Tri-Wheat Leave-In Conditioner. I really did like this stuff. I would spray it in my hair on wash days and, um, I don't think it necessarily did anything amazing to my hair, but it did detangle it, um, and it smells really, really good. So I did enjoy this. Am I going to buy a new one? 
No, because I get them a lot in my Ipsy bag, but um, yeah, so I'll use the next one I get in my Ipsy bag. And the final item is some white cloud cotton balls. I go through so many cotton balls from either putting on astringent on my face or taking off nail polish. It is ridiculous. So I go through about like one of these a month. Um, it is craziness, but so yeah, that's my last item for March. All right, so I hope you enjoyed my March empties. Please don't break any brushes in half and I will see you in the next video. I'm gonna go eat family dinner now. Bye.